I'm Dylan Finol and I'm on the Culture Beat. I'm here at Mataf Museum in Doha, Qatar, a museum that houses a pretty impressive collection of modern art from around the region. Let's take a look. So I've just found out that one of Africa's most renowned artists, Ghanaian artist Elan Atsui, has an exhibition here. Elan Atsui is one of Africa's most prominent artists today. He did his breakthrough internationally in 2007 at the Venice Biennale. He's a multifaceted artist because he works with so many mediums. It goes from metal sculptures to wooden sculptures, prints, silk screens. He's really multifaceted. So the exhibition is rubbish, literally. Old clothes, bottle tops, spoiled food, tin cans, car parts, and even screw tops from bottles of whiskey. I was really amazed by his use of recycled materials, especially the man hours that it would take to just shape every piece and, and to puncture it. The caps were made in Nigeria. The drinks talk about centuries of culture exchange. The beer came from Egypt, the gym came from the distilleries of England, and the rum from West Indian plantations. Those were from the plantations worked on by slaves, slaves forced onto ships and stolen from Africa. The significance of his cultural practice is really embedded in Africa's traditions and uh, histories, especially the histories of migration, colonialism, post-colonialism, environmental change. All these ideas are really at the core essence of his practice. Each fragment of the work mean a, a larger thing that is uh, a bottle, an individual value of exchange that was used with the, let's say the uh, liquor. So there is a relationship of the, the work, the material to the history. When uh, Natsby speaks about his ancestors, it's not only his ancestors, it's the past and the history and the now of, uh, of Africa and its relationship to the world. When I first came here, I didn't really understand why an exhibition featuring rubbish might be called triumphant scale. But looking at it now, I get the feeling that what the artist is doing is something like redeeming forgotten objects of history, mostly of a violent history, slavery, colonialism, and putting them in a museum, making them visible, telling us not to forget. This is Dylan Finol, Culture Beat, Doha, Qatar.